I have the Kohinoor Polycolor Colored Pencils here today. This is a 24 set. They actually have bigger sets, but they also offer these uh, smaller separate sets like you can buy this landscape, you can buy portrait or other sets. On the box there is no information about the light fastness of these colored pencils, but if you go uh, on their home page, I think it was on the home page that they do have a list of uh, light fast ratings. And I also have um, pastel, uh, soft pastels from Kohinoor and those also have light fast ratings and I like them a lot. And I also have watercolor pencils from Kohinoor and I love those ones. I really like how they dissolve with water. And I was expecting a lot from these colored pencils. I really thought that they will be amazing. Unfortunately, I was disappointed. So, but let's start from the beginning. What information do we have here? So there is a, a color name, brand name, a color number, and they also have their uh, code on them because these pencils are available open stock. Uh, I think not everywhere, but I have seen them here uh, open stock and I also saw them available on some uh, web shops. So you can also buy them there if you just want to try one or two out. There are also other numbers written on these colored pencils and I do not know the meaning of all of them. So now I'm going to do the swatching and see how these pencils feel. The first color was the yellow and with that one actually usually you do not notice a lot but when I took the next color, the orange, I already noticed that the, these colored pencils were not pigmented enough. Um, they felt also dry which is really surprised because I love their watercolor pencils but these ones, mm, no, I, I really did not, they did not feel feel good. I was expecting them to be more pigmented and to be more softer. Yeah, it's they're more they're not dry, but they just I don't know, they do not cover the paper nicely. And if we take a look at all colors that were in this landscape set, I think we could have gone better with less blues because uh, two, four, five, six, eight. So we have like eight blue colored pencils and I think that's maybe a lot. The landscape is not only uh, sky. So maybe one more red or pinkish one. There is no black one in this set. Uh, so it could get a little bit difficult with some really dark shadows but yeah but still I mean the colors are nice I just think maybe a little bit more variation would have been better so I tried these colored pencils uh, on the Stonehenge paper because I already mentioned that on that paper almost all colored pencils worked nicely and but also here i just was wishing for this pigment to be more uh, to be stronger um i took then uh, this red and orange to see how they mix together and yes i mean there is not a lot of problem of mixing uh, red and orange and um, but again the colors feel a little bit washed out i think that's the biggest problem here I also tried them on the Mittens paper because I really like that paper, uh, but yeah, with burnishing there was this mm, like a wax layer was building up and the, I did not like how the, the pencils looked when, when you were burnishing and the white colored pencil was average it was uh, okay as you can see on the upper part uh, the brute funer one was much uh, stronger and i also used the zested solvent to see how these pencils uh, can dissolve and 
uh, in between I tried these colored pencils on the pastel mat and I have to say for my surprise like burnishing here with these colored pencils it looked so similar uh, to Faber Castell the end result so I was actually really surprised because the coverage was nice the coverage of the paper usually like if you take a look at uh, Mendeli or Brutfunner or other other colored pencils which I tried on the this pastel matte paper there are those a lot of those white spots and speckles which remain on the paper but with polycolor that was not the case and i was really surprised there the one thing that to notice is that there is dust building so you have to be careful not to smudge those pencil parts on the other parts of your paper so just to be sure that it was not only the red colored pencil, I also tried this blue one on the pastel mat and also here I I really like how it looks like. And uh, something else I tried, I tried putting uh, white on top and that also worked well. And of course that can be also because of the paper, but once again the coverage uh, is really nice with these colored pencils. And as you can see here, uh, layering is actually not a big problem. I also uh, I have put down the white color uh, and then on top of that I've put yellow. And that also became, the yellow became much brighter. So maybe these colored pencils can be used in a combination with polychromos. Uh, yeah, you have to check the light fastness of them if you want to, to use them for your uh, professional artwork. But I actually find them nice on the pastel mat. But on the other papers, I did not like them. I had the feeling that they are not pigmented enough, uh, that they are more drier, that the coverage is not so good on the paper. And I did not like them on the Strathmore toned paper either. And of course I wanted to color one of those flowers, which I always do uh, when I do these kind of tests, but the, it just, the colors did not feel good on the paper. Uh, I could not mix them and layer nicely, so it was really not fun, so I just gave up, I, I tried it and yeah, it, there is no point. So uh, for me, really, I would say on pastel mat, these colors are getting that vibrancy and they look nicer. But on the other papers, I, I just was not happy with them. So I hope you enjoyed this test and subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Bye.